Well, the story of Assassin's Creed Shadows is just ballooning out of control. And there's a lot to talk about with this, this game and the narrative that's being pushed, how Japanese culture is being ripped away for a Yatsuki, which seems to be a African slave in the time, in the feudal time of Japan. But a lot of attention has turned around on what Ubisoft is doing behind the scenes, what they're doing, how they're pushing these DEI policies into the video games and who is involved with them. Story starts at that park place and I'm going to show you quite a bit of other things going on in around behind the details of this game. Assassin's Creed Shadows, Ubisoft hires LGBTQ plus activists as consultant who wants to challenge moral standards around transgenerational sex. What the hell is transgenerational sex? This is the story that is now being portrayed in a lot of the category of this situation. As revealed on the inside look as the creation of the games given to IGN, Sachi Smith Hori comments on the game alongside Associate Narrative Director Brooks Davies. IGN details that Smith is working with the Ubisoft on Assassin's Creed Shadow, but does not provide further details as to what her involvement is. Outside of her work of Ubisoft Assassin's Creed Shadow, Smith is a Associate Professor at Dartman in the University of Arts and Sciences Department. Biography on the website confirms she is an activist. I am interested in investigating how gender, sexuality, corporality, and power are represented and negotiated in pre-17th century Japanese narratives and illustrations. My first book, Tales of Idolized Boys, Male to Male Love in Medieval Japanese Narratives, is a medieval Koji Monogatari Buddhist acolyte tales, often which often depict romantic relationships between Buddhist priests and adolescent boys. That's kind of disturbing. Uh, this is back a very long time ago in history, so I wouldn't look too far into this because you're going to get a narrative that probably will warp your mind. I don't want to go too much further into that. But this is this was from the trailer that was put up on IGN for kind of a behind the scenes of the team that's working on Assassin's Creed Shadows. But recently, we're seeing something new here. We're seeing uh, Learning the Law meet the diverse team of Assassin's Creed Shadows. From the narrative director and lead writer of uh, level, level designers, the team embodies diversity, most unexpectedly, a group of white Western liberal women who seem to dislike her skin. Now, yes, it's a lot of women, but this photo is actually taken from an International Women's Day in 2016, uh, not currently part of Assassin's Creed Shadows, but this is still a large chunk of women working at Ubisoft, and one in particular here is Kim Belair. I eat them. Uh, Ubisoft Assassin's Creed Shadows is not DEI, DEI agenda filled game. All right, stop. Also, Ubisoft, yeah, if you could ignore Kim Belair, the co founder of Sweet Baby Inc., in this photo, it'd be great. Thanks. But from the quartering, Ubisoft has been melting down internally over criticism of their DEI efforts quadruples down internally. So this is an internal document that obviously is being spread around in uh, Ubisoft right now because things are just completely off the wall. Everyone's talking. We talked about the war on Wikipedia and now obviously they're getting a lot more inside of what's going on in Ubisoft. Given the current polarization of the topic online, we believe we are having a respectful and constructive dialogue is difficult, if not impossible, to achieve. In this context, we ask you not to engage or interact with conversations as you could worsen the situation yourself. Our, our teams and our industry peers, you can also set your accounts to private, yada, yada, yada. Get off social media is what the is what Ubisoft is pretty much trying to say here now. For when that photo was taken, Kim Belair is the, was the writer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. She is the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. But 
That being from 2016, it doesn't necessarily mean it's for the current Assassin's Creed Shadows. It's still highly suggested that Kim is somewhere involved with Shadows, with Sweet Baby Ink, or somewhere in between. Uh, the, the writer, the lead writer on the game was following Sweet Baby Ink as well. But now this brings up more questions. How involved is Ubisoft with Sweet Baby Inc. or Ubisoft? Did they fund Sweet Baby Inc.? The money for Sweet Baby Inc., you know, we've had ties to the Ontario government, we've had ties to Homeland Security, but who is the developer behind how this took off? Now, when Valhalla was being written by Kim Beller, she also started Sweet Baby Inc. full time. So she was writing Assassin's Creed Valhalla from January 2019 to July 2021, and Sweet Baby Inc. was done in May 2018 to present, still ongoing. So you've got to wonder, because they also list Ubisoft on the website, where did the money come from for Sweet Baby Inc.? And it really does look like Kim Beller never really left Ubisoft with her with her resume here. She worked on For Honor, Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, Far Cry New Dawn, uh, also Electronics Arts, which uh, I, I know that they've done things together with Ubisoft. Now, who really is Kim, Kim Beller? She's the CEO of Sweet Bee Being, but she's also the one, the, the person that went to the Game Developers Conference and sat there and told, told people out there that if you're not getting your way in the video game space to tell the stories you want to tell, to change the stories to this DEI more diversity push, then they said, she said, take your marketing department out for a coffee and terrify them pretty much with cancel culture. It's absolutely pathetic. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for, when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. If you're sitting there and you're, you're, you're hammering that Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to be a good game. Well, it's probably going to be a bugging mess. We're probably going to see another system of a game, much like we saw with Forsaken, uh, much like what we saw with, what was it, Zao that came out. These games that just don't do anything on the market. And, you know, there's also the Suicide Squad game that came out that Sweet Baby Inc. was also involved with. These games fall flat on their face, and I wouldn't be surprised if Assassin's Creed Shadows does also fall flat on its face. But it's we'll have to wait to see. Apparently, their stock went down 15%, but the sales, the pre-sales for the game is their best ever. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait to see where that really lies, but it truly does look like Sweet Baby Yank. Might be in the background on this one, uh, involved somewhere with Ubisoft, I wouldn't be surprised. But until then, I've been your product in, in Phoenix, Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. <laughs>